in spirit The kingdom of heaven belongs to them Blessed are those who mourn They will be comforted Blessed Rejoice and be glad Because your reward is great in heaven Rejoice and be glad Because your reward is great in heaven Blessed are you when people insult you, persecute you, and say all kinds of evil things about you falsely on account of me. In John 11, Lazarus dies, and in his death, those who love him lamented. They wept. Even Jesus wept. In verses 33 to 36, it reads, When Jesus saw Mary weeping, and the Jews who came with her also weeping, he was greatly disturbed in spirit and deeply moved. He said, Where have you laid him? They said to him, Lord, 
come and see. Jesus began to weep. So the Jews said, See how he loved him. Jesus wept. Jesus loved. Like us who weep, cry, and lament at the loss of those whom he loved. What have we done wrong that we are plagued with this virus, O oh God? What sins have we committed that you turn your face away from us? Why have our homes become our prisons, locked from the inside doors barred? Why have family and friends become threats to us? Why have we become a threat as well to those whom we love? Where are you, O Lord? When children beg us for food because their stomachs grumble, when parents brave arrest in search of money and work, when the poor line up to find food from the community pantries where so many people gather, when the farmers and fisher folk offer everything they have so others have something while the rich continue to treat others like dogs who can only eat the crumbs below but never from their tables since when was it wrong to give food to the hungry and water to quench the thirst of parched throat was it not you who touched the hearts of men and women to offer from their tables of grace? Why do those who offer sustenance for life fear for their own lives because they are called communists? Did you not promise, ask and you will receive, seek and you will find, knock and the door will be open to you? Why is it that the poorest of the poor have asked but have not received help from the government? Why have they come seeking for nurses and doctors and did not find anyone? How could so many who have come to the door of hospitals be turned away even when they are gasping for life? Have you forgotten us, O God? Day and night we call out your name and you do not answer. Do you not hear our cries of mourning for mother, father, brother, sister, or friend who have died of COVID? Does the groan of the dying not affect you? For how long will they lie alone, isolated from family and friends, hoping for a glimpse or touch of comfort from loved ones? Why are their only companions faceless, masked and shielded medical workers who themselves carry life and death dilemmas? Why do they have power, make the vulnerable more powerless? Who do we ask help from? Will those who hold the wealth of the nation do not hear the cries of the people for food, mass testing, and vaccines for all? Where can we hide when the state arrests and kills those who speak against abuses and serve the poorest of the poor. Have you forgotten us, O Lord? When will you hear our cries? Who will you send to answer our prayers? In the Gospels of Matthew and Mark, Jesus himself cried out to God, Eli, Eli, lama sabachthani. That is, my God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? Jesus shared in our humanity from birth until his death. Jesus experienced the full range of the human emotions, joy and pain, fullness and hunger, love and lamentation. But Jesus 
did not only share in our humanity, Jesus becoming human, though He was divine, is the greatest act of love of all. In life and in death, the divine accompanies us in love. For all whose lives have been touched by COVID-19 and other ills of the body and society that touches us all. For those who mourn, immerse them in your love and lead them through this darkness into your arms and light. For those who comfort, be in both the words they use and all that's left unspoken. Fill each heart with love. Despite our lamentations, we thank you for the lives of all those loved ones who, while they're no longer, are walking with us or holding our hand along life's journey as once they did. Live on in the collective memory of those they have left behind. Let us not allow physical distance to separate us in an act of unity and solidarity. Let us light candles where we are and read the names of those who are loved and remembered. not allow physical distance to separate us. In an act of unity and solidarity, let us light candles where we are. Let us light candles where we are and read the names of those who are loved and remembered. We pronounce their names one by one. For those whose names are not called out here, whisper their names wherever you may be. We remember them with you, with love and lamentation. We remember Reverend Percival Gregorio, Reverend Joel Panganiban, Crisanto Isidro, Evarista Linchanko, Ligaya Ramirez. Let us humble ourselves and continue remembering the names of the faithful. Aldrin Bautista, Jose Laowa, Rolly Calderon, Chopper Palinsuela, and Alex Jalbuna. We remember you, Elizabeth G. Santos, Connie Pascual. Elena Godino, Teresita Pangilinan, Eril Jeff Tejada.
we remember you, Diyos Dado Kabiling, Purita Concepcion, Boying Abismes Aguilar, Janet Dancel Liban, Bernita Santos Imbang, and Florentino Imbang. I would like to remember my mother. Gloria. My first cousin, Noemi, our colleague at Wesleyan University, Sir Boying. Remember them with love. And lamentations. We thank God for their lives. who are having a hard time being good friends and caregivers. Help those who feel useless and inspire them to be great friends or sympathizers. Help me to understand what you need me to do in this hard time. Help me to, ins to be inspired to help like many others. Help me to be that small difference that changes the world. Help us to become united as a church, as a nation, and as a world community. May many people, in their hardships and fear, try to be bold and ask for your help and forgiveness. And help us all to understand that in this hard time, what we need most is to follow the Christ who fed the hungry, healed the sick, and set the captives free. Amen.
Ooh.